Hello and welcome to a uh, little texturing tutorial kind of mini series. Uh, I'm going to probably break it up into two videos. Uh, this one will focus on the uh, blender stuff. And then the next one we will get into the substance painter stuff for the V mask. Um, so yeah, this one kind of covers uh, a few of the little blender things. Uh, and then doing the normal map in blender. Uh, so we'll jump right into it here. Um, I've got this one prepared. I've got all my materials on it already. Uh, it's got the uh, UV map here all set up. Um, so yeah, those are kind of things you're going to want to have done before starting into this uh, series. Um, I'm not going to cover those. Everyone's kind of got their own uh, techniques. Uh, for mine, I've gone through and actually marked a lot of seams and unwrapped that way. You can use the smart, uh, smart UV or whatever um, you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my UV map there. Uh, the other thing I like to do, we will jump over, I'll click this guy, is uh, my modifiers for exporting. I use a smooth of some sort. Uh, there's a few different ones they, that work. Um, but I usually set it to 50%. Uh, then you get typically your uh, you know your bolts will still appear six sided, but then everything else will round out quite nicely. Actually, can't show you on these because these have only uh, four sided hoses, um, but they still appear round just because of the shading. Um, so yeah. That's my normal setup there is yeah, a smooth at 50 degrees and then a weighted normal modifier with the keep sharp box selected. Um, otherwise, if you don't select that, then you get, you'll get some weird stuff going on there with your nineties and such. So um, that's kind of the, uh, that part of it. Um, then we are ready here. We can, can kind of export it already. Um, I can just uh, reload this. And that's our model there. It's got all of its materials assigned and such. Um, so that's ready there. Uh, then from there, what I like to do is I like to take it, duplicate everything. Then I'm going to hit M. Uh, to move it to a new collection, we're gonna call it. Uh, I'm gonna call it pop uh, bake or texture, whatever you want to call it. Just something. Then we'll hide the original model. We're kind of done with that. It's in Giants Editor. We shouldn't need to touch it again unless we make changes. Which you have to be careful now making changes at this point because you're kind of diving into the texturing part of this. Uh, we are going to. Join these together. This jack I made a little bit extra there, so we're going to move this one over. Uh, we're going to move that over because we don't want any baking lines, so that if all of a sudden it comes out of the jack further, then it will look funny. Missing a, a piece. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay, well, um, we'll just quick fix that up. Remember how I did UVs here. might happen. Just want to make it that it 
kind of nicely integrates into my existing UVs here. There we go. That's fixed. And we gotta go back over here. Get rid of that. Actually, we will, I'm just going to duplicate that, send it back over to original collection so we can use that different UV. Um, yeah, I didn't notice that little issue, but yeah, you want to, before you get into textures, you want everything good and fixed up. Now we're going to merge it all into one. Uh, we will call it, sure, we'll call it that. And then we'll come over here we are not going to use these materials so we're going to get rid of all those um now if i'm remembering correctly it's been a few months since i've done some texture stuff but the name here in substance painter is going to be the name it's going to use as the kind of prefix to all your texture names so we'll just call that pop uh, then we are going to come over here for our on uh, normals into the shading tab or whatever has the nodes uh, we are going to add a bevel node we're going to collect it to the normal we're going to start with the 0 0.005 as our radius and then we can come up here we need to be in cycles uh, over to the bake tab we're going for our normals oh and one other thing we need we'll just do it in the screen it's easier we need an image uh oh, normal uh, i usually like to go oversized on these and then we will it'll go into substance painter anyway and we can scale it back down because it doesn't need a 4096 for something like this. The 2048 is easily adequate for that. Uh, then we can tab into here. Here's our texture, and we should be able to just hit bake. Uh, you can change your margins if you want. But on a 4096, a 16 is probably fairly reasonable. And nope, let's go here. Render samples, we do not need that many. We can just go with 10, we'll be fine. Yeah, it doesn't, the samples number isn't really going to make a big difference on things. So you can lower that down quite easily. Wait for this to bake here. Make sure it's a uh, satisfactory result. Okay, not too bad. Uh, we are seeing uh, this here. Where is that coming? I think again, it's been a little bit since I've done this. Uh, we do need to remove the modifier, I believe, for this process. Uh, it will cause, yeah, some of this kind of distortion, if I'm remembering correctly. Again, it's kind of an on the fly tutorial as I do it and remember myself because then it might also help you uh, find some of these issues that you might come across in doing this as well. Yeah, apparently that is brought in some different issues by removing it. Okay. Well, you know what, it might 
B. It is that. Stump myself here. Now this piece overlapping is causing that issue. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll end the tutorial there. I'll figure this out and then we'll quick cover it in the start of the uh, next one. What I find is my solution. And then we will get into the uh, substance painter part of things in the next one. Uh, so yeah, this kind of, yeah, quick normal tutorial and uh, some other things mixed in there too. So thanks for watching this one and we'll hopefully see you in the next one.